In our upcoming book, How to Build a Thriving Culture at Work, Dr. Rosie Ward and I examine in detail the critical issue of employee engagement. Here, I just want to touch on the disturbing frequency with which the words engagement and participation are used interchangeably. Participation simply refers to the act of taking part in something, like a health risk assessment or a smoking cessation program. Employee engagement, on the other hand, has to do with how employees feel about their work. Engaged employees are committed to and excited by their work, and they're willing to go the extra mile to make a difference. Historically, employee wellness programs have suffered from poor participation. In response, many work sites began to use incentives to increase participation. The results were less than great. Enter the wellness provisions in the Affordable Care Act, which promote the increased use of rewards and punishments. When these increase participation, the claim is often made that employee engagement is improved. This clearly makes no sense. While bribing employees to participate may increase the numbers that do so, it says nothing about how they feel about their work. In fact, what it says is that programs that were initially not attractive now are simply because by participating, they can win an award or avoid a penalty. Any ideas about how bribing employees to participate with threats of losing substantial amounts of money might make them feel? You got that right not likely to improve employee engagement and can cause outright rage and rebellion as the recent debacle at Penn State showed so clearly. So the take home messages for today, number one, don't confuse employee engagement with participation. Number two, rewards and punishments may increase participation, but they're very likely to decrease employee engagement. And three, if you want employees to participate, invite them to help you make the programs attractive enough so you don't have to bribe them to do so. Because if you have to bribe employees, you're not talking about engagement. You're not even talking about participation. You're talking about compliance. And we're pretty sure that compliance has no place in employee wellness, never mind employee engagement.